I'm Gordon Reid uh, and I run Middle Boop, which is an agency I've been running for 10 years now. Uh, it's just myself and some freelancers that I get in from time to time. And I do talks, like my talk tonight, uh, which is all about collaboration, because that's what the event is about. And I've got three sections tonight, which are actually all new for this talk, so it's all good. If anyone has actually seen me before, uh, it's all new stuff for a change. But yeah, I talk about uh, my love of cats, and uh, my football team and things like that, all the really nitty gritty stuff. And then I'm going to focus on uh, skill sharing and why I think that is really integral to growth in your career. Uh, skill sharing in the way of collaboration. And then I talk about collaboration with clients as well. Can we get a better one than that? Come on, how are we doing? Are we okay? Yeah! Brilliant, brilliant. Shame about the other one pulling out, isn't it? Now you've just got me. What did we think? Uh, did, did everyone enjoy the other talks? They were quite good, weren't they? They were all right, yeah. So it's, uh, it's pissed me off, actually, because now you've got disappointment for the next 20 minutes or so. But there we go. Right, uh, what have we got going on? Has everyone had a drink this evening? Yeah. This man down here just kind of showed me his wine glass. <laughs> Gives me the eye. What's that? No, I, I, I kind of, yeah, yeah, I, I sort of played it up a bit for the crowd. Uh, it's good because it's not, you know, we're, in, we're not in dry January anymore. You know what I mean? Like, we can go mad, can't we? It's like a damp February sort of thing. You know, we can do this. It's okay. It's applicable now. We can do it. Right, uh, what are we doing? Because I can just ramble on. This is the best thing, because I thought I had fucking 20 minutes, and now, like, someone's pulled out, and so I'm just going to keep talking, basically, until, until someone starts falling asleep. He's nodding off already, so it's a good start. But what have we got? Right, I'm going uh, to prattle on. Uh, so thanks to Marlin, thanks to everyone at Glug for having me. Woo! Woo! Yeah, come on. Come on, fucking hell. That's bad, isn't it? The single whoop. <laughs> Woo! Nothing else. I've always tried to insta I always want to do this. Maybe we can do this tonight to instigate the single clap when you finish a talk or something. Just the single. And that's it. And that's it. And then we're done. <laughs> like the solace. There we go, yeah. No, but you keep, you're clapping, though. <laughs> it's the single clap I'm after. Just don't keep doing it. It ruins it. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Well, well, this is a good start, isn't it? Right. This is a great start. I love the sofa here, by the way. Can you see this? It's like fucking friends or something down here. It's brilliant. <laughs> Just lining up the cans of Fanta or whatever it is we're being given here. Uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to prattle. I'm going to talk about collaboration because that's what we're here to do. Chat to these friends down here on the sofa. Uh, so we've got a little intro, you get to find out about me, because, uh, you know, obviously you've always wanted to find out about me. Uh, don't laugh at that. Uh, we've got skill swapping to great effect. And we've got collaborate successfully with clients. So this is all new material for you guys tonight. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Dry as fuck as well. Dry as fuck. We're not in dry January anymore, but you're getting a dry talk. Um, so this is it anyway. This is the start of the talk, everyone. This is collaboration is king. So let's get some applause, please. Yeah. Woo! I mean, do I whoop myself? I don't know. I'll just, just do it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Right, so anyway, um, uh, this is a map of the UK, everyone. And uh, yeah, ooh. Uh, and uh, you know I'm a designer, so uh, do watch out in the talk for you know I've got some little graphics designs bits going on there for you lot because I know I know this is like you know the epitome of the creative hub of London, trendy old street, the Silicon Roundabout. We're here, aren't we? So you know I've got some stuff. But anyway, uh, I grew up in the West Country, right? Hence the. Uh, Graphics designs arrows there. Brummy in a Brummy accent. Me. 
Is it? Says the Welshman. I don't know what I mean by that. Uh, but no, I grew up in the West. Despite what this guy says, I grew up in the West Country. And uh, we're most famous in the West Country for Glastonbury. Um, <laughs> it's me dancing in the mud there to the Killers. My favourite band. And uh, the town... This is serious stuff. I don't know why you're laughing. Um, the town I grew up in is <laughs> most famous for a uh, hundred-man punch-up in a Weatherspoons. Yeah. You see me in there with a, drinking a bunch of Fosters and... I don't know, is the sound on? You don't really need the sound, but, you know, it helps. Adds the effect. Um, so needless to say, we moved out of that area fairly swiftly with my mum and I. We moved to uh, the south of London. Some more graphic design for you there. Uh, where I became a long-term Crystal Palace fan, long-suffering Palace fan. Whee! Whee! <laughs> this is brilliant, right? I've done all these fucking talks all over London and stuff, and this is the first time I can confirm that there are more than one Crystal Palace fan in the audience tonight. Are you an Eagle fan as well? Oh, my God. This is, this is, the, this is, this is it. Yeah, they all went to New Cross, yeah. God, this is quite emotional, this. Fucking, I might cry. It's more than two people. So anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, the reason I talk about this shit is because, you know, it's, uh, I want you to get to know me a little bit. And uh, the suffering that I've had to endure for my whole life. Because uh, we're not a team that's uh, known for any sort of merit or success or anything like that. You know, it's, it's more sort of, uh, you know, people doing dad dancing and fucking... <laughs> Uh, the FA Cup final, which we subsequently lost, of course. So, uh, yeah, that was good. This is good. And uh, what am I doing now, I ask myself. I now, li <laughs> I now live in East London with my uh, girlfriend, who's, who's here tonight. <laughs> Woo! It's the first time she's ever come to see me. There we go. There's a good word. One whoop for that, yeah. Um, and our cat that's adopted us. We've got a little cat now. This is good. She's not ours, by the way. She just sort of turns up and kind of hangs out. This is an approved photo by my girlfriend as well, by the way. This is, you know, we collaborated on confirming that this was the one we were going to show you. Um, and she's got... Uh, yeah, someone just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never. In fact, the only time that this gets any noise is when she claws it to get out the fucking window to take a shit. So that was quite funny. <laughs> and we had Blue Planet earlier on. People were talking about Blue Planet, which is good. Uh, we've now got my cat watching Blue Planet. <laughs> this is my life, man. This is what it's become. I just, I mean, I'll leave this go. I'll leave this running. Actually, we've got fucking tons of time now. I'll leave it going and put it on repeat. I, I'd, I'd cut a photo. There was a photo earlier on when I was rehearsing of her watching herself watching Blue Planet, and it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's this little cat. Um, so I'm middle. I love that again. Just one. <laughs> The one guy that's over 30 in the audience. <laughs> uh, I run Middle Boop, and uh, I've been running Middle Boop for about 10 years now. Uh, and I've done all sorts of different things. I'm, I'm not going to sort of talk about it too much, but um, I started off doing illustration, mainly in the music industry, and then uh, moved on, did advertising for a long time, like art direction and uh, design and things like that. And I'm now in... Not the autumn years, I hope. But <laughs> at a point where I'm doing... I've got a little studio in Stoke Newington, and I do a, a lot of branding, consultancy, that sort of stuff. And uh, I've got a few projects for you, a few little treats. Not available online, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, this is good. These, were, these guys were Six Music, uh, album of the day yesterday. Absolute pack of wankers to work for. But I'm going to show it you anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only the good stuff for you guys, Glug. 
Uh, we got a little, you know, there's a little branding that I was doing. Fucking, um, they've got a little shop opening up on Brick Lane this year. Some fun branding. Some more corporate stuff. Everyone goes silent. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's just, you know, a few little bits that I wanted to show you so that you don't think I'm, um, you know, some kind of chancer. Well, you know that already, I suppose, but uh, there we go. Uh, what are we doing for time? This is brilliant. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Well, we've got... <laughs> I, can, I can do it, I think, yeah. Oh, they've got the time on here. That's all right. So we've got skill swapping to... Great. This is like we're into the nitty-gritty now. You know what I mean? Like we've, got, we've done the cats, the football. Hey! And all the Crystal Palace fans. There we go. This is great. I love this, by the way. I do love this. Uh, so we're on to skill swapping to great effect. Because it's what I mean, when I was writing this talk, I... <laughs> you having fun, Glug? Yeah. Whee! Oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah. The last Glug I did, I said that, and people were like, yeah. <laughs> it's because London does it better, right? It was Birmingham, that one. Uh, uh, what am I talking about? Skill swapping. So I was writing this fucking thing, and I, you know I have my section on collaboration because we're talking about collaboration tonight. And do you know that thing uh, when you're um, like just waking up in the morning, and you've got that kind of you're in that sort of dreamlike state, and you're like your ideas kind of just pop into your head. So I was like. I just had this thing, oh yeah, I, I, I skill swap quite a lot and that's collaborative. So I, I jumped out of bed and just started right like 6am just running around trying to find paper before I forgot this stuff. Like skill swapping, that's good. Um, but it's uh, this sort of thing, I mean, it's all about basically um, well, sharing your skills and learning from people that have something something to offer essentially that you that you don't and learning learning from the masters. Uh, like this little fella here, you know what I mean? Like just training himself up to be the to be the fucking hero. And uh, I wrote this little I wrote this little blurb for you that that sort of ex uh, explains the section a little bit. Swap skills and collaborate with talented people who can offer you. I wrote that. It's quite good, isn't it? We got any copywriters in the audience? There you go. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do your copywriting. Um, but, that, I mean, this is it, really. It's, it's something that I've done my whole career um, b because, uh, as we all know, budgets are quite tight at the best of times. But uh, talent, you can, you can kind of swap things. You can trade things. And um, certainly with, uh, with all sorts of different situations, it's, it's really quite beneficial to your career to surround yourself, I suppose, with really good people, talented people who can do different things and can grow your career, can push your career to the next level, push your uh, business or whatever it is. Um, so I've got a few bits I'm going to show you. Because I can't fucking do 3D, right? Don't laugh at that. One guy just goes, <laughs> Is it? It's this guy. Yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> He's actually coughing, he's not even laughing. But I can't do it. And uh, it's one thing, because uh, you know, I went to uni to try and do 3D design. Tw I mean, we're talking 12 years ago, so everyone was trying to do fucking Shrek heads. And there was no longevity to it, there was no... <laughs> so we all concentrated on Flash instead. There's a designer's joke for you. Um, but now it's a massive business, it's a massive thing. 3D design. So uh, I, I found this guy uh, with a friend of mine who's an art director as well. And uh, it's brilliant because this dude that I've collaborated with on these projects, skill swapped, uh, he's just got raw talent. He's just got a really good eye for, for the lighting and, and whatever else it takes to make this stuff look really fucking good. Um, and then what we've got is uh, well, certainly myself is I, I can offer him well, obviously like contacts people that I'm working with I can give him don't laugh at that hey your knee money no I don't have any money 
don't get paid for these talks, do we? <laughs> don't have any cash. <laughs> Never doing a glug again. Um, but yeah, so we offer him contacts and we, we just swap these skills basically. And uh, like with these sort of jobs, and also he got to learn, he'd never done commission work before. They're coming to arrest me now for saying that. <laughs> he'd never done commission work, so we got to know actually what it was like to work with clients and what it was like to work with a horrible art direction bastard like myself. And, uh, and, it, and it was all beneficial. So I think uh, like one of these things about skill swapping is it's just doing it so that it's a, of benefit to both sides. You get something out of it. And I've got a few more for you. So I can't do SEO. And this is, this is what I do when I try and do SEO. Not really. It costs me lots of fucking money. And I don't get any money for doing talks. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, that didn't go well. That didn't go well. But uh, regardless, uh, we've got this SEO guy. Did someone say something? No, nothing. We've got this SEO guy in my studio. And I've been started to collaborate with this dude as well and Skillshare. And um, he, he's brilliant. He's really good. And, I, I mean, like I say, I can't do SEO. Uh, have we got any SEO people in? Thank God for that. Thank God. They're weird folk, aren't they? <laughs> Strange folk. Um, so, <laughs> so it's brilliant. So he d he d he's helped me out with my website so much and, and got me kind of ranking in the right things and that's helped me get work. And then I've given him loads of brand consultancy help uh, at the same time because he's tried to build up brands. And it's just that using that collaborative essence of swapping your skills, sharing your time and your knowledge and your your expertise to great benefit for other people. And there's a little bit, I did a bit of branding. Lovely bit of branding, yeah. Ooh. And this was for, this was a friend's company. He got made redundant and decided he wanted to start up a business, so didn't have any cash, really. Um, but he said, do you want to do this thing? And uh, it was just that experience. It was collaborative straight away. I knew that it was going to be a good job because he was a good guy and he kind of let me have free reign. So I thought, actually, I can swap some skills with you here because... He's a re he was great with recruitment, and uh, I did some branding for him. So uh, we built up this whole uh, little business for him, and, and now they've got uh, like two offices, bless you, uh, two offices and all sorts of members of staff. And again, it's just one of those situations where we swapped our skills, and it's been a benefit to both of us. Um, so, uh, yeah, what have we got coming up here? This is a little quote. I'm going to end this section. It's, you know, I've, I've lowered the tone quite a lot, I feel. It's quite good, I think. Everyone's, like, listening now. Uh, little Anton Chekhov, little Russian poet, playwright, rather. Um, and it, I think this sort of exemplifies what I'm talking about in this section. It's knowledge has no value unless you use it and you share it. And I think that that sort of makes sense, really, for this section about sharing your skills, sharing your talent and your knowledge, and your wealth of expertise, to be of benefit for yourself and for others as well. Um, so that's a, that's a good one, yeah. How are we doing so far? <laughs> Woo! That guy, who was, he's gone now, the guy who just kept going, huh! <laughs> I don't know where he's gone. Has he gone? Yeah, he's left. He's left. So we're going to collaborate successfully with clients now. Here I'm going to give you all the, the nuggets of wisdom here when I have a drink in a second. Hold on. Mm. Ah, very dry. It's very dry talking all the time. Uh, so collaborate successfully with clients. Uh, what am I going to tell you about this? Well, here's me collaborating with a client. Get a gif in there. Always gets a laugh, doesn't it? But I think, um, I just think when you're working with clients, we we all have clients that we hate and... Um, I'm, I'm, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we do. Clients are shit, aren't they? Huh? 
What do you think of clients, guys? Shit. You don't have to whisper, it's okay. Shit, yeah. They, see, they, the friends agree down there. Um, but it's, I think like, there are ways of doing it, right? There are ways of sort of uh, working with clients so that you can actually make it an experience. And for me, it's, it's actually collaborating with clients and trying to engage with them in a collaborative way rather than it being sort of more of a dictatorship where someone just drops the brief on your desk or emails you this kind of half-cocked idea and you just have to do it because you're a designer and that's what it is. And it, it's not all about that. I mean, for me, I think the best, the best jobs I've ever done have been all about collaboration. And because uh, I think, I mean, nowadays, especially when I'm doing branding jobs now, it's, um, you want to get, you want to actually collaborate. You want to get to know your clients. You want to go in there and spend like a couple of days sort of getting to know the culture and the values and things like that. And I think it, it's so funny when you get so, uh, all, all sorts of people who kind of contact you and just say stuff like, hey, I want a logo for fucking whatever. It's like, yeah, you d I'm sure you want a logo, mate, but that's like, what, like 20% of what you actually need to offer these people to, to create a, a, a full brand and experience and something that might make something. So uh, it's about collaborating with these people and, and not just sort of having them tell you what to do, really. And it's then the next stage is communication. They're leaving, they don't like it, so. <laughs> I thought I was doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to collaborate? I don't fucking know. I don't know. But it's communication as well. And it's, uh, I think it's, uh, when you want to uh, just have those jobs and keep them successful, it's about communication with your clients and just keeping involved with them at all times, uh, keeping them in the loop at, at all times in the process and just communicating, getting to know them properly. I think that's, that's for me, is, is what makes the more successful jobs rather than someone just telling you, I want this sort of thing and uh, make sure that they're involved in every step of the way. Because then it, uh, sort of when you end that job, like I've just had a job, like quite a big branding job that's gone live. And uh, it's, uh, that it was quite a collaborative process. And they were part of the job pretty much every single step of the way. So there were no surprises for those guys. And so when it goes live, they, they actually felt that they were part of it, part of the process, because they are really. You know, it, it, it might be us that, that creates the logo, but it's everyone that's involved in the process that has to collaborate properly to make this work a reality. So it's funny when you see the award ceremonies and stuff, because I always think when they're sort of celebrating, like, the creative teams or the designer or whoever, and they're not thinking about maybe the planner or the strategy guy, and you just think, well, it's, it's the whole process, it's the whole group of people that actually made that happen. I'm like welling up here. This is great. <laughs> Thought I was going to cry then. Um, listen, I got. I don't know if you can all read this. Can you read this? Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? I've got an example of a a, a fella. Uh, you can email him if you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most uncollaborative client. I think I've had recently. And uh, it's brilliant, really, because I wanted to give you... Because I think it's really important to say no to people. And I think uh, in the day that we have at the moment, where it's hard, it's hard for creatives uh, to get work and do things. And um, uh, you, you feel inclined to say yes to everything that drops on your, uh, in your e inbox and things like that. And it, it's so important to say no to just jokers like this. Good brief, isn't it? Yeah. It's a really good brief. It's one of the best briefs I think I've ever had. I'm going to read it out because I just think it's brilliant. <laughs> Hi, I am after a logo brand design. Ben. <laughs> well, whoop de fucking do. <laughs> whoop de do. And now, I'll let you into a little secret here, right? It's, I just delivered a project, I was quite bored. It's like early ja mid January. I was kind of bored, so I just I played with this guy a little bit. I thought it was quite funny, really, because you know when you get this sort of email, you're like, you're not going to be creating the next. F 
fucking uh, FedEx logo or anything like that. Really beautiful piece of work, well paid, wins loads of awards. It's just not going to happen, is it? So I played with this guy for a bit. I phoned him up, got his, got his shit down. Old Ben, my mate Ben. And it was brilliant, really. Yeah, so uh, uh, this was good. So what I phoned him up and got, you know, heard about his idea. And it was you know, a lovely idea. I really enjoyed it, hearing about this shit. And um, <laughs> I said, I'll get, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. And uh, I think it was Friday. And then Saturday, I just get this email, which is it's just great, really, yeah. <laughs> High ideas on prices, please. I'll give you a fucking price, my friend. <laughs> I'll give you a price. Uh, needless to say, we are not working together at all now. I think someone went, oh, what a shame. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I sent him a, an invoice, uh, an estimate, and he, he, I priced him out of the job. It's gutting, really, because I really wanted to work on that guy. But what I, what, why I'm showing you those emails, that sort of like snippet into my daily routine, is that there are people out there that are extremely uncollaborative. And I think it's, it's really important to just know when, <laughs> when these sort of jobs come up that you just fuck them off. Just say no to them because uh, you know, time's your most valuable asset, really, as a, as a creative, as a, de as a designer. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Um, so it's, it's, it's about knowing those situations, really. And uh, I've got my mate Pharrell here, because I'm going to kind of wrap things up slowly now. And uh, I think this guy is, uh, with his little hat, sort of exemplifies what I'm talking about when I talk about skill swapping and collaboration and people that do it really well. And, and this, this motherfucker, I mean, he's, he's just, he's collaborated with everyone. His skill, he swapped his skills with some of the best people and the most successful musicians in the world. He's done all sorts of different things. He's multitasked, you know, written, produced, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I just think it, he came up with this good quote that when I, when I saw the quote, I was like, actually, this is pretty good. You're right. Do you need a minute? <laughs> Can we get her a water, please? He's choking on a wine. It's not. It's no laughing matter. It really isn't. <laughs> uh, but this is it. I mean, uh, this is a, a small amount of some of the people that he's collaborated with, and I, I think it's just yeah, it exemplifies skill sharing to to great effect. And and this is the uh, quote that I I'm going to leave you on today, that uh, I think is, is you know it's a very simple quote, but I think it. it, it it kind of sums up everything that I've been talking about, really. And it's to collaborate with people that you can learn from. He's pissing himself, yeah. <laughs> this is meant to be serious, this. This is the serious bit. Fuck's sake. Got the laughing when I'm serious, when I'm trying to tell a joke. Stone cold. But collaborate with people that you can learn from. And I just think it, it sums up, really, everything. I mean, he obviously has learnt from stuff. Oh, he put me off, that guy. He's put me off now. I'm trying to sum this fucking thing up. But no, that, I mean, that really is it. It's just collaborate with people that you can learn from and benefit from and push your career further and surround yourself with those sorts of people. Um, so that is it. That is the end of the talk. We have some, yeah. Thank you.